Michael's big book of bad things, I noticed that my mum and dad were different. This is how it was. I go to the bathroom and I'm cleaning my teeth. Upstairs, downstairs, front door. And I noticed that the toothbrush is a little bit wobbly. Hmm. It's a little bit wobbly. Hmm. I wonder if it would bend. Bendy. <laughs> yeah. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Yeah. Bendy, bendy. Bendy, bendy, bendy. <laughs> oh, no. I've broken it. Oh, no. I'm going to get into trouble now. I'll stick it back. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't work. No way. Uh, oh no, uh, I'll, uh, I'll make up a story. Yeah, I'll go into the kitchen and I'll go up to Mum and I'll go, um, uh, Hi Mum, I was um, just in the bathroom and I was um, cleaning my teeth really hard and um, the toothbrush broke. Yes, that's it. So I go into the kitchen and there's Mum and I say, um, Hi Mum, I was just um, in the bathroom and I was um, cleaning my teeth really hard and... Um, the toothbrush broke. <laughs> and Mum looked at the toothbrush and she said, Oh, don't worry. It's only a toothbrush. It's no big deal. We'll get another one tomorrow. You see how she was? You see how nice she was? But a few minutes later, my dad comes in. He breezes in and he says, Hi, everybody. Anything happened today? And we go, No. No, nothing much. He said, oh, come on, something must have happened. And we go, no, no, the sky's still blue. He says, oh, look, come on, just tell me something. What happened? And my mum, she says, oh, yes, <laughs> something funny did happen. Michael's just told me that he went to the bathroom and he was cleaning his teeth so hard, the toothbrush broke. And my dad goes, cleaning your teeth so hard, the toothbrush broke. Cleaning your teeth so hard, the toothbrush broke. I've never heard of anybody cleaning their teeth so hard, the toothbrush broke. Michael, would you just come over here, come and tell me about it? And I go, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like Mum says, I was, I was um, uh, cleaning my teeth and I noticed it was just, um, you know, kind of a little bit wobbly. Wobbly? He says, wobbly? How do you mean wobbly? I say, yeah, like I'm saying, and, uh, and I just wondered if maybe, um, you know, it might be just a little bit kind of uh, bendy. And he says, what's that you're doing with your hands? I go, yeah, like I'm saying, a little bit kind of bendy. He says, I'm beginning to get the picture. Oh, yes. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Pow! You see that? He's got it out of me. He's taken me in for questioning and he's found out exactly what happened. And then he remembered it. He remembered and remembered and remembered so the next time I did a bad thing, he could remind me of the last bad thing I did. So I'm in the bedroom and I'm sitting on my brother's head for half an hour. And my dad bursts in and he goes, what are you doing? And I say, um, I'm sitting on my brother's head for half an hour. He says, I can see that. And I said, well, if you can see it, why are you asking me? And then he says, oh, yes, like the last time. You went to the bathroom. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Pow! It was as if he had written it down in a book. Michael's big book of bad things. Michael's big book of bad things. My dad had a favourite page in Michael's big book of bad things. Page one, because on page one it said, Oh, yes, like the time you threw your mother's best ring out of the window. It was her grandmother's. Now, I know that sounds bad, but I was only two. You don't know you're doing a bad thing when you're two. I must have seen the ring on the floor, toddled over, picked it up and gone, Wee! and it went flying out the window. Only I forgot to tell you, we lived in a flat over a shop. So when it went flying out the window, it landed in the street where it was never found again. And something else. My mum and dad could speak another language. It's a language that some Jewish people speak. It's called Yiddish. And my dad didn't say the English word, grandmother. He said the Yiddish word. And that made it sound all kind of ancient 
and traditional. So my dad says, oh yes, like the time you threw your mother's best ring out of the window. It was her boobers. Boobers. It felt like the room filled up with boobers, hundreds of them, and they were all crowding round me going, you threw your mother's best ring out of the window and it was her boobers. So what happens the next time I get into trouble? It's bedtime. Now, I had a problem with bedtime. I couldn't hear the word bed. So when my mum said, Michael, it's time for bed, all I could hear was, Michael, it's time for... Or if she said, Michael, it's bedtime, all I could hear was, Michael, it's time. So there we are, sitting on the sofa, and we're watching telly. Why do people look like that when they watch telly? I don't know, but there we are. We're sitting there. Our mum says, Michael, it's time for bed. And I go, Michael, it's bedtime. Michael, I'm talking to you. It's time for bed. And I go, all right. No need to shout, blimey. And I get up and I go round behind the sofa. And then when I'm behind the sofa, I think, if I'm really quiet, she won't know I'm here. So I stop breathing. <gasps> and she says, Michael... I know you're there. And I go, I'm not. And she says, what are you talking about? You're standing there in the middle of the room saying you're not there. You must be there to be saying you're not there. You take me for stupid. Now go to bed. And I think I could now go out of the room and then I could pretend to be going upstairs by making that stamp, stamp, stamp thing on the floor. So I go out of the room and I go, and I think this is really brilliant. She thinks I'm going upstairs. But what I don't realise is she's coming up behind me and she's standing over me going, what are you doing now? And I go, oh, right, Mum, yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I'm just going upstairs. Well, no, I'm not, actually. And she says, go upstairs, wash your face, clean your teeth. I can't stand looking at you another minute. So it's upstairs, into the bathroom, shut the door, and yeah. It was time to muck about. Plug in, taps on, flick water at the mirror. Yes! 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 And there's drops of water on the mirror and the drops start turning into drips and one drip's going faster than another drip. And I think it's a bit like the horse racing on the telly. So I start doing a running commentary and here comes Longbottom with the Longbottom and here comes Shorty Bum and Shorty Bum's closing on Longbottom and here comes Longbottom and Longbottom's going to take it. And I hear my mum from downstairs going, Michael, what's the silly noise going on up there? And I said, oh yeah, uh, sorry mum, I was just looking for the flannel. And here comes Longbottom with the Longbottom and here comes Shorty Bum. Now then. When a man shaved when I was a kid, this is how they did it. Plug in, taps on, a little brush in the water, into a special jar of shaving soap. Now, I loved this shaving soap. If you held it up to the light, it was all twinkly. And if you smelt it, it was all perfumey. And then if you prodded it, <laughs> yeah, it was all squidgy, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm drilling for oil, yeah. Hey, you can't see the hole from the outside. Maybe I could bury something in there. What could I bury in there? I know, the top of the toothpaste, good thinking. Smooth it over. That's amazing. That's like buried treasure. Maybe pirates would come looking for it and sing their pirate song. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yo ho ho and a bottle of... And I hear my mum from downstairs going, Michael, 
what's the silly singing going on now? And I went, oh yeah, I was just um, glad I found the flannel. Right, quick, wash the face, clean the teeth. Mm. It's a little bit wobbly. And a little voice said, don't do it, Michael. And then I said, I wonder if it would bend. Yeah, bendy. And the little voice said, don't do it, Michael. And I said, no, but I want to bendy, bendy. Don't do it, Michael. I went, no, I want to bendy, bendy. Michael, don't do it, bendy. bendy. No, I bet not, actually. And then off to bed. In the morning, my dad goes to the bathroom to have a shave. Plug in, taps on, the little brush in the water, into the jar. He's thinking, how did that get there? How did the top of the toothpaste get in my shaving soap? So he comes downstairs and he goes up to my brother and he goes, Brian? How did the top of the toothpaste get in my shaving soap? And my brother goes, So my dad comes up to me and he goes, Michael, how did the top of the toothpaste get in my shaving soap? And I go, I don't know. You see the difference? When my brother said, I don't know, his eyebrows were down there like that. He went, oh. But when I said I don't know, my eyebrows went up in the air. The moment my eyebrows went up in the air, my dad knew that I was lying. He says, look at your eyebrows. What? How can you look at your eyebrows? The things dad say, look at your eyebrows. He said, your eyebrows have gone up in the air. That means you're lying. And I said, I'm not. And he said, and another thing, your voice has gone squeaky. What a giveaway. And I said, no, it hasn't. He said, what did you think you were doing sticking the top of the toothpaste in my shaving soap? And I said, it's buried treasure. And he goes, are you crazy? Except he didn't say crazy in English. He said, are you a crazy person in Yiddish? And to say that, you say... Are you Meshuggahner? And it reminded him of something. Michael's big book of bad things. And in his mind, he's turning back the pages till he gets to page one and he says, oh, yes. Like the time you threw your mother's best ring out of the window. It was her boobas. And the room filled up with boobas. There were boobers flying round the room and they were all pointing at me going, first you threw your mother's best ring out of the window and then you stuck the top of the toothpaste in your father's shaving soap. Ay, 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 ay.